Hello. So after about two weeks of bicycle touring on the Altiplano, I decided I wanted to change. So I took the overnight bus here to the city of Sucre. And wow, it is a really, really beautiful city. It was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1991. And it's just a great place to relax, explore the cathedrals, the architecture, everything, restaurants, it's uh, the climate. Can you tell? I'm loving it. I was able to get a hotel room for $26 a night right off of the main square here. It was advertised for $54 on booking.com. But again, I showed up in person and I got almost a 50% discount. I also had time to get a tattoo, which is always fun and makes for a great travel souvenir. But tomorrow I'll be taking off on my bicycle and heading to the town of Cochabamba, the city of Cochabamba, I guess. It's about 250 miles through the Central Highlands. It's going to be a very, very challenging ride, but I'm well rested. I think I'm up for it. And um, I'm actually eager to get back out there on the bicycle and explore some of this new terrain. And until then, I'm just gonna fuck around here in Sucre. Good morning. So I just climbed an hour out of Sucre and I'm about to give it all back. The road I'm on is absolutely ridiculous. You can just see it winding for miles and miles. This is easily gonna be some of the toughest terrain I've ever rode on, but I think I'm up to it. After all, I have a new hat. Boom, look at it, check it out. Yeah, just goofing, new hat goofing. crazy bridge right here. Look at this crazy landscape. Um, we got good and bad. Um, bad. This is way, way harder than I uh, had anticipated. These, uh, these mountains are, these are big. Turns out the world's second tallest mountain range is not the easiest to uh, ride your bike through. And then, um, yeah, in eight hours, I've gone 45 miles. That is not good. The good, it's a desert. I'm at 9,000 feet in the Andes and it's a desert. I never, never would have uh, guessed that. And then what gets really weird is I've been all over the world, many tropical environments and I've never seen this many parrots. Thousands and thousands of parrots today. Um, 
the typical green parrot and there's a green parrot with an orange back which i've never seen and then there's black parrots i've never seen black parrots oh this is a storm has passed but it still looks like rain over the mountains and um, I'm beat I'm 10 hours in the riding and uh, I'm just I'm making progress and now the headwind it's un unbearable come here picky 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 up on the main road told me to camp down this I don't even know if it's a, I don't even know what this is, it's a little village, but there's a basketball court that's covered. I'm just going to set my tent up right here. I'm exhausted. Good morning. These farm animals are, are ridiculous. They started this nonsense like an hour ago. But yeah, it's a good night's sleep. Uh, glad I was here. It rained. It rained hard. So it was nice being under this and not you know, for being somewhere. And yeah, about ready to get packed up, head that way. Still looks like rain. But, uh, let's go climb some mountains. Good morning! What a beautiful day in the Bolivian Central Highlands. Uh, yesterday, not so beautiful. Terrible weather. Uh, I rode about 20, 25 miles and uh, yeah, violent storm started rolling in. So I hitched the ride to Aguil and wow, just a charming little mountain town you'd never have on your radar and then you get there and it's just uh yeah just a cool little town found a room 11 bucks a night right off the main square by the cathedral over there had a great meal and um recharged and today i'm going to ms q another small mountain town that again is on no one's radar but sounds very interesting and uh I'm just looking forward to it. This day looks beautiful. What a day to ride a bike. And uh, we'll see you there. Like a Coca-Cola? No, it's guarapo de uva. Ah, a fruta. Si. Okay, gracias. carbonated again my gusto mm -hmm. um the nombre de fruta 
Uba. Uba. Sí. Uba. Fruta uba. Mm. You know what a good day is? An 18 mile downhill in the most perfect weather imaginable. Incredible scenery. I'm on the edge of the Andes. Right over there is an 8,000 foot drop to the Amazon basin. That's why there's so many tropical birds here. There's parrots, there's macaws, there's parakeets, there's hummingbirds. The air smells like citrus. What's around this next corner? I don't know. What's back there? I don't care. I'm in the moment. I'm so high above the clouds, I don't even know I'm above the clouds. What an incredible day of riding. I made it to the town of Mizuke. I got myself a hotel room right on the main square, right next to the cathedral. And it's very nice and um, yeah, the sun's going down and um, I'm gonna go look for some dinner. There's a little stall over here. Hola. And they're not grilling anything. So let's go this way. Let's cut through this beautiful, beautiful plaza. And uh, yeah, check it out. Immaculate landscaping. And uh, yeah, looking forward to a nice relaxing night. Una paseña, por favor. Una paseña. No hay paseña, solo hay Baltica. Baltica, otro. Es, es. Ay. Oh, es el natural que era. Ya iban churraya, usca el elba, un dogoy. Say no, the paseña. No, no fría, no problem. The grande, por favor. No hay grande. Ay. Ah. Elba, we know there's a grande. Ah, grazie. All right, this this dog up here just hates me. He really wants. To, he just he just hates me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. This dog just... Ah! Ah! Yes. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Leave. I'm leaving. <laughs> All right. I'm not finding anywhere to eat. And uh, there's a crossroads up here. And there's a, a ton of restaurants catering to truckers, and, uh, buses. So I'm going to work, walk my way up here. And um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully find something, something to eat up here. Jeez, I'd even take a. I'm hungry. I'd take a cab. That's how hungry I am. <laughs> Looks very good. Very happy. So, big plate of meat. I have a fresh, a fresh beer, and uh. Yeah, it's going to be a great evening, except for these trucks passing, but it'll be okay. This woman seems like she knows what she's doing with the grill. I trust her. So I got the chicken, our mashed rice, pork, french fries, and then it's a, it's a whipped it's like a mashed rice or mashed rice. I already said that. Uh, Hotel Victoria. Huh? Hotel Victoria on the plaza. Uh, uh, for what you mean? Uh, for Hotel what? Victoria? Si. Yeah, si. vamos, vamos. Subi. Ven aquí. Aquí. Aquí, aquí, ven. All right, I'm being invited in the truck. That's always fun. Huh. 
Gracias. Ah. Sí, es bueno. Sí. Me gusta. Ya. Yeah. El de bueno restaurante es aquí, no a. Sí. Yeah. Uh, ahora está lleno, ¿no ve? Sí, de mucho transporte. Sí, sí, mucho. So, mucho. Sí, so. Gracias. Mi, mi uh, español es muy poco, almost nada, nada, ah, yeah. nada en español. Ah, yeah. Poco um, no más hablas. ¿Qué? Poco no más hablas. Sí, mucho poco. <laughs> <laughs> sí, uh, uh, yeah, inglés only. Estados Unidos only inglés. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. Solo de Estados Unidos. Sí, sí. Sí. Hay aquí mi bicicleta. Uh, bicicleta Bolivia. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Me gusta. Ah, uh, yeah. Sí, I've been to La Paz, de Altaplano, Ua Uni, de Solarde, Ua Uni, Sucre. Ah, Sucre. Sucre. Ah, Sucre. Bonito. Sí. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Sí, bonito me es eso. gusta, love. Sí. Me gusta, su crees. me gusta, dice. Yeah. Muchas gracias. Por eso, chas. Ya. 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 Yeah, wow, what a nice couple. Wheel positive, out.